The flag a message feature will put a flag next to your email message over here in the flag column as a reminder that it needs follow-up action. So for example, with this new ghost investigation that's coming up, let's say next Friday, I want to go ahead and do a follow-up action by selecting the flag that when I see that, when I deselect it over here, that I need to do something, maybe go ahead and follow up or reply or send out an email that says, hey, is everybody on board and ready to go? Have you got your gear? So when it comes past due, because by default selecting it, it's due today. After today, tomorrow, if I didn't clear or mark the flag complete, it'll turn the whole entire line item red. You want to see? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and right click on the flag and you do get more options. So if you don't want it to be due today, which is the default when you select the flag, you can select tomorrow, this week, next week, no date, custom, whatever you want it to be. And notice how that when it's not due today or it doesn't have a no date or custom, the flag isn't a bright red, meaning that, hey, we're getting intense, we're right on top of getting it done, as opposed, yeah, tomorrow we're not as intense, we can procrastinate. Hopefully you don't do that. In any case, let's go down to custom. And you've got the start date that you can say, okay, let's start today and then choose a date and then it's due. Click on the drop down arrow, maybe next Friday. But instead, so I can show you that it turns the entire line item red when it goes past due, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow for the start date and go to yesterday as well as the due date to yesterday. Click okie dokie and oh my goodness, you see how angry it gets when you don't complete it? It goes red or it's blushing because it's embarrassed that you didn't complete the task. In any case, there you go. It lets you know now that it's past due, where yesterday you had all day to do it. So you can come over here and either right click on it and say, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and customize this so we can set a later date instead of like doing it tomorrow, maybe a specific date in the custom window. Or if it actually has been completed by now, just mark it complete, you get the green check mark. And if that bothers you, you can also right click on it and just say, okay, let's just clear it out altogether. Now the other option you get when you right click to either add a flag or to do a custom flag, you can add a reminder. When you click on it, it opens up the custom window. So you could have select the custom from the drop down list there. In any case, you can flag to follow up or you can say flag to, well, for FYI or forward it on to somebody else or to reply to this email message. It's your flavor, choose whatever. I'm going to leave it as follow-up. And then the start date, today, the due date. Well, to see the reminder, what it looks like when it comes due, you have to have Outlook open. And with it open, when it gets to that time, it'll open up a window and it'll give a loud bong. Well, a loud one if you have your speakers cranked. In any case, let's keep it due today. And down below, the clock says 638. If I come up here and I change it to 630. 9 and I'm quick enough and I hit enter the moment it turns 639 that is if I have Outlook open it'll open up that window and it will give me a loud bong. Oh there you go there's my bong okay so new ghost investigation it's due I can snooze it and say well I'm not ready for it now it's right in the way get out of here of course you can minimize that down to the taskbar but then click on it to restore it or click on the drop down arrow and say give me a day and then click snooze and it will hide it and then a day later it will pop back open that is when you have Outlook open let me click off of it if you got more than one that's reminding you you can dismiss all but since I just have the one here well you can double click on it to open it up as a reminder oh it's this message new ghost investigation uh, I better go ahead and follow up and you can see here the information bar follow up start by Saturday February 24th due by Saturday February 24th the reminder is Saturday, February 24th at 6.39 p.m. So the information was follow-up as opposed to what other settings that were available, which, by the way, with the message open, you can come over here in the tags group and, hey, it's right there, follow-up. Click on the drop-down arrow and go ahead and do custom and make your changes and say, okay, instead of follow-up, I want to do an FYI or, you know, whatever you want to select, click okie dokie, and then it changes the information here Oh, and it pops back open again. Okay, fine. Let me minimize that for your information instead of follow-up. Great. Let's go ahead and close out. Restore that back open. And if we're like, okay, that's fine. I don't want to snooze it. Let me just dismiss it. And it's gone. So when I come over here, the flag is still there. When I right-click on it and go down to custom, 
the reminder is no longer checked, it won't pop back open. And from here, I can also clear the flag, click on it, and it's gone. And you can also come up here on the Home tab to the Tags group with this message selected and do Follow Up and then choose Like Today. Now, when you set the flag, if you don't have a pop-up reminder and you're not in the inbox, there are other places that you can be in that will show you what's coming up. As you recall in an earlier training video, we had the to-do bar. Remember that? Of course you do. Come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Layout group, and there's To Do. Click on it, and it's for the tasks. Select it, pops open, and there we go. New Ghost Investigation. There's the task that's due today. And then later on, Apple Picking. Oh, what's that about? Well, you can see when I hover over it, in the pop-up, it says the reminder time. Oh, it disappeared. I'm not fast enough. Hover back over it. Is Saturday, September 1st, 2018. Oh, that's several months out. I'm not worried about that. Of course, you can double-click on it, make some notes, change it, but there you go. Saturday, September the 1st, 2018. Close out. So there you go. If you had that open, you know that it's coming due today. So you can view it that way, or let's go ahead and close out of it you can go to your task folder and in the task folder you have your to-do list and your actual tasks they're separate and the follow-up flag is the to-do list it's not going to be displayed as a task and we'll talk about tasks in a later training video and you can see apple picking was the one that we just looked at that's coming up um, september the first twenty eighteen but back in the to-do list the follow-up is the new ghost investigation which again it's not here in the task it's a follow-up so it's the to-do so you can come in here, double click, open it up there, or you know, you can see that the red flag is showing you that, oh, it's due. When it's red like that, it's burning to be done today. And if it's done, while you're here, just right click on it and mark it complete. And it's disappeared from your to-do list. Oh, that's fun. As well as when you come up here, click on the view tab and go to the to-do bar, to the tasks, only have apple picking. Phew, good. Let's close out of here. Let's go back to our mail folder to see ghost hunting. Green check. It's done. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.